Hello folks, this is Raj Sastri from Raja Option Trading. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite topic. It's uh, working from home stocks. So as you know, right now the trend is really working from home. Uh, that's why a lot of video conference, conferencing stocks are doing really, really well. So according to, according to the forecast, um, the, the market size and, and addressable market of these video conferencing companies is going to grow rapidly. And also, you know, a lot of these uh, pundits predict work from home is going to stay. It may be a hybrid scenario going forward, but it's going to stay. With that in mind, let's see how we can take advantage of working work from home stocks. So here are my favorite work from home stocks. Uh, first one uh, is no surprise, Zoom Video Communications or Zoom. Next is Twilio, Logitech, Five9, Bandwidth, Live, live Person, Clear One, 8x8, Zendesk, Ring Central, Alphabet or Google, uh, Microsoft, and J2 Global. And there are companies like Cisco, which is also famous, but off late performance is not that great. So, with that, let's dive into a little more details and look at maybe two or three companies in a little more detail. So, first one, uh, which is everybody's favorite, is Zoom. Uh, these days, people use Zoom as a verb, you know, um, like Zooming as an example. Uh, with that, it's a really modern platform and, you know, it's uh, really viral. Everybody uses Zoom. If you, Even if you ask some school kid, they will tell you what is Zoom. So, impressive market cap, 121.79 billion and 98% approved uh, founder and CEO Eric Wan. And stock price is about 417, which is really nice. And if you look at a three year stock chart, it really did very nicely. And now I guess it's a really a law of large numbers. They can put up same type of growth. So that's why stock has seen really came down a little bit, but trying to make, uh, trying to go up again. And from a um, quarterly uh, perspective, if you look at the market cap, market cap is consistently growing. And now they're at 121 uh, with this small drop. That's why it came down a little bit. Um, revenue perspective, they're doing really nicely. As you can see here, the revenue surprise. See the it like percentage here, 169, 355, 366. Tremendous year over year revenue growth, which is very important. And they've been surprising the Wall Street with the revenue surprise. And they've been surprising on the EPS side also. Really nice gross margin. This, this is the beauty of software and software as a service or SaaS. Really nice uh, predictable gross margin and really nice net margin. They are making money right now. So with this, you know, this is my favorite here. Um, really because the double digit or triple digit revenue growth and double digit gross margin, that's the recipe for success. So next is Ring Central. A little bit smaller company compared to Zoom, about $38.31 billion company. But these guys have got a you know ambitious leader here with the lad Shimins. And this company is really, you know, they want to uh, lead the cloud communications and collaborations. And with that, um, you know, if you look at a stock chart, really consistent, steady AD as you can see here. Nice company. They got a good amount of cash. And uh, they also, you know, um, have some debt. I think they want to probably acquire some companies, I would think. And with that, if you look at the market cap, steadily increasing, um, you know, from all the way from 331 at 18 billion to now 38 billion. So really nice, um, you know, market cap increase. That tells me companies uh, grabbing the market share from competitors. And from a revenue perspective, nice revenue acceleration. That's, that's what we want to see in, see in the company. And year over year revenue growth is also really nice. Um, you know, around 30, 32%, which is nice. Very consistent. And they've been surprising Wall Street with the year over year, year revenue uh, surprise, which is nice. And they also have the earnings surprise. And gross margin perspective, because it's a SaaS software as a service, very, very nice gross margin, uh, around 72, 73%, which is very nice. And they're still investing money in their own platform. That's why the net margin itself is negative right now. So this is, you know, 
R and D and uh, product development is a, is key for them. And these guys have also collaborated or partnered with companies like Avaya, which is a really old style uh, company. Now they they provide the cloud communications with partnership from uh, Avaya, which is really really nice. So with that, this is one of my favorite. You know, this is this this has got a lot of room to grow. Next is eight by eight EGHT about $4.6 billion company, a little bit smaller company as you can see here. And these guys are also into, um, you know, the communications, collaborations, video collaboration type technology, and 100% approved the CEO here, which is really nice. And they got 37.3 um, as a stock price here. Stock has done really nicely in the past. Um, and from a market cap perspective, these guys are grabbing the market share, as you can see here, improving the market cap all the way from 1 billion to 4 billion now, which is very impressive. And they have been surprising Wall Street with the revenue surprises, um, you know, all along. And the quality of revenue surprise is coming down a little bit. Uh, that's a little bit concern, but not a huge concern. Um, on the EPS side, they have been surprising on the negative side. They've been missing the EPS projections probably they've given too much, you know, too high projection, I would think. And nice gross margin, but not as good as either Zoom or Ring Central, and they're still losing money. So my take is really, if you, if you want a little bit smaller um, price stock, you could buy this $37, but the quality is really nice when it comes to Zoom or Ring Central with the high gross margin and high uh, year over year revenue, uh, growth. I would uh, think you know these two stocks are better than eight by eight, but eight by eight could be a good candidate for somebody to acquire. You know, it's a smaller company, four billion dollars. Somebody can easily acquire them. So with that, uh, two stocks to really own for long term and one to speculate. Let's look at uh, next three set of companies. Uh, first is Live Person. This company is really around you know work from anywhere type company. Um, you know, have you ever uh, called, a, you know, um, a company or a customer support and they tell you the old style, press one for this department, press two for this department, which is very boring. So this company is going to change all that and provide a conversational AI, a automated person or an automated robot can really engage with you and help you to answer your questions. It sounds like a, a person, thinks like a person with artificial intelligence. With that, 73% approved the founder and CEO, Robert Lokaskiko, and it's about $4 billion company, $71 stock price, very nice stock chart here. I would uh, really like you know, the way it's going up. Um, and if you look at the market cap, consistently, you know, kind of growing the market cap from $2 billion to $4 billion now. And from a revenue perspective, they're putting up positive year-over-year -year revenue growth, which is very nice. And they've been surprising Wall Street with the revenue um, um, surprise. And EPS perspective, they're surprised two times and missed two times. Very, very nice gross margin here. That's a very typical of SaaS companies. And they're still uh, negative from a net margin perspective because they're investing in their own product and grow it you know, far ahead. You know, this is very nice technology and very nice company because uh, nobody wants to call customer support and hold on the line and uh, you know, transfer from one uh, place to other place. This company solves that whole problem and a lot of room, room to grow. I would recommend this company. Next is Tulio. What can I tell about Tulio? It's, uh, if you talk to any developer, developers, software developers, they love Tulio. Uh, Tulio really, you know, unlocked the magic of communications. And in the past couple of years ago, they had one issue where Uber was their biggest customer with about 25% or so. Now they solved the problem and now they got, you know, a lot of customers and now it's not concentrated anymore. So with that, from a stock chart perspective, very nice stock chart here. And um, they got a good amount of cash um, and debt is manageable. $425 company from a stock price perspective, 68.29 billion market cap. And from a, you know, they are also improving the market cap very steadily. That tells me they're, they're grabbing the market share from other companies. 
And from a revenue perspective, they've been surprising Wall Street with the revenue surprises and very nice revenue acceleration. This is, this is what I want to see in a company. You know, very nice revenue acceleration, double digit. Um, you know, it's uh, above, say, 45, 50%, which is, which is very nice. And they have been surprising Wall Street with the EPS surprises uh, consistently. And their gross margin is very nice. It's, uh, you know, 50%, which is good. And they have been uh, negative on the net net margin, mainly because you know they have to invest a lot of money into R and D and make their product as top notch. This is my you know one of my favorite companies, um, especially because any developer you speak to, they love Twilio, um, especially because of their API platform. Next is Zendesk. Zendesk is a you know customer success type platform. You know. Um, you know, their goal is to really improve communication between a company and its customers and really make sure customers are succeeding. So it's about $18 billion company and 94% approved founder and CEO, Mikhail Swane, and uh, stock price is about 157.69. Very nice stock chart here, um, and they got a good amount of cash on hand and some debt. And from a Market cap perspective, steadily improving market cap. This is what I like to see in a company that tells me they're grabbing the market share from its competitors. And from a revenue perspective, very nice revenue acceleration, as you can see here, and double digit revenue growth. This is what I want to see in a company. And they've been surprising Wall Street with their revenue um, surprises. And they missed last time with the EPS, but you know, not too much, four cents. And nice gross margin. This is very typical of a SaaS company. This is what I want to see in a company. From a net margin perspective, they're negative because they're investing heavily into their own platform and make it top notch. With that, you know, Zendisk is really a stock to invest. Next, let's look at, you know, two big companies or three bigger companies. Uh, first one is Microsoft. Everybody knows Microsoft. It's got a legendary CEO, Satya Nadella, under his leadership company has done tremendously well. And, you know, if you talk to any school kid, you know, they know about uh, Microsoft Teams. And Microsoft has done a very, very nice job by bundling all their products into a enterprise agreements and give a best value to any organization. You know, their secret sauce is their enterprise agreements. With that, they, they can bundle things and sell it to anybody. And you know, from a market cap perspective, very nice market cap, uh, 1.20, uh, 1.54 trillion. As you can see, it's in the trillion dollar league with uh, Apple, Google, and a couple other stocks. Um, you know, this tells me you know their their formula of bundling products into a EA really works well. And from a revenue perspective, this is again law of large numbers. This is a trillion dollar company with a $43 billion revenue, it can only grow like, you know, uh, in double digits, um, in the lower double digits, which is very impressive because a company of this size to grow revenue by 16%, it takes a lot of commitment. And they've been surprising consistently with the revenue surprise. And they've been surprising on the EPS side also, as you can see here. Very, very nice gross margin, uh, 67, 68, 70, very nice gross margin. And they're making money, positive net margin. With this, I would recommend Microsoft, even at here with $1.82 trillion market cap. Microsoft is one of my favorite, steady eddy under legendary, le legendary CEO Satya Nadella. Next is Google. Google is, uh, you know, a search company, as you know, they're into a lot of things. $1.42 trillion company from a market cap perspective. You know, they have a lot of Google bets. Um, from a collaboration perspective, they offer um, calendar, Google Sheets, Hangouts, Google Meet, um, and a lot of these collaboration products. And 95% approved C was Sundar Pichai. And stock price is about 2,088, which is really nice. And from a cash perspective, they got huge amount of cash, just like Microsoft, $136 billion cash and $27 billion debt. Debt-wise, it's really a little bit lighter than, much lighter than Microsoft. And stock chart, as you can see, a very, very nice stock chart. Um, you know, any dip, you can, you know, close your eyes and buy this stock, um, no issues at all. 
And market cap perspective, this is in the trillion dollar uh, league. Um, very nice market cap. They've been um, grabbing the market share from other companies, as you can see here. From a revenue perspective, this is revenue is really bigger than Microsoft. You know, fifty-six billion dollar compared to Microsoft's forty-three billion dollar year over year. Year revenue is really twenty-three, fourteen. Uh, they had some negative hiccup a while ago, but they're over it now. And you know, revenue growth is much bigger compared to Microsoft. And they've been surprising Wall Street with the revenue surprises, which is again nice. And they've been surprising with the EPS surprise also, uh, with the exception of 331, March 31 quarter. And gross margin is really nice, 54%, a little bit lower compared to Microsoft. They got a good net uh, margin, which is 26%. Again, a little bit lower than Microsoft, but uh, you can't beat this top line revenue growth number, which they've been doing well of late. With this, Google, even up here with $1.42 trillion market cap, it's one of my favorite stock. If you can't buy stock um, you know, outright, you could buy fractional shares or you could even buy you know, um, in-out spread. You know, if it is 288, you could buy 2,000 and uh, 2,100 you know, um, call spread. That could be one way to play. Uh, or you can buy fractional shares and invest that way. Next is Cisco. Uh, Cisco was you know, one time market darling and big company um, back in 2000s or so. Um, it's got a legendary CEO, Chuck Robbins, 93% uh, approved Chuck Robbins. Stock price is 45.68 and market cap is about $192.85 billion. And everybody knows uh, Cisco's WebEx product, very popular. Um, and you know they've been growing this product and doing a lot of R&D uh, for this product. Stock chart, you know, gives it away. Um, it's really, you know, a little bit you know back and forth as you can see here. Does well, comes down, does well. In any option tra trader, you know, they will tell you this is a good company to sell some of these iron condor type, you know, or even butterfly type, you know, stock uh, spreads. So with that, you know, I would, you know, I would buy when it comes down. Um, you know, as you can see, a lot of places it will come down. You could buy it, and then you can sell it. You know, good stock to trade in, in, in and out. And also, if you're a long-term, you know, stockholder, it gives a good dividend, which is also nice. So with that, um, from a market cap perspective, these guys are really not doing that well. They're, uh, you know, 178, 199, kind of in the trading range for the most part goes up and down. From a revenue perspective, it's a negative revenue. Uh, they've been improving a little bit in the last quarter, but still nothing compared to Microsoft or Google. From a revenue perspective, they've been surprising the market with the positive revenue surprise. And even EPS perspective, they've been surprising with a positive surprise. And from a gross margin perspective, I think it's a good gross margin, 65%. And they're also making money, 21% uh, net margin. So in, in, in summary, Cisco is a good stock, but uh, it's not growing their top line. That's one of my main concern. Um, like, you know, Microsoft or Google, they grow their top line, whereas Cisco has good gross margin, but uh, top line wise, I would like to see some acceleration. So I would wait and watch on this, maybe buy on the dips um, and take it from there. So with that, uh, let's look at uh, the list of companies that we have considered and the criteria why we consider these companies. So this is a you know, total list of 23 companies uh, that I considered. And these, this is uh, organized by descending order of performance. Uh, the one on top is really highly performing in a one year um, time, time frame. Um, and the reason these are bolded, the boldest stocks are my favorite is, look at the revenue uh, growth. It's really double digit revenue growth. And look at the gross margin, which is again double digit. So the reason these are bolded is because of revenue growth. We want to see the top line, which is growing. And we want to see double digit gross margin. This is where companies really efficient in conserving their money and uh, really making sure their operations is very good. So with that, these are you know my favorites, um, and let's look at the performance of some some of these companies. Um, and I have you know um, I have these uh, favorite companies in green background here. 
uh, those are the favorites and as you can see here on a monthly performance um, you have February January it's in a you know descending chrono chronological order all the way to July so the companies in bold they've been consistently doing well I mean they have some hiccups you know back in March most companies had hiccup back in March April this is when coronavirus hit but they all bounced back so in a nutshell the companies in um, um, green background are my favorites because of obvious reasons, a double digit revenue growth and a very good focus on uh, gross margin improvement. With that, if you look at a performance from a weekly, monthly, quarterly perspective, again, the companies in bold are my favorites, um, um, you know, market cap, and you can look at um, where they are from, from a country perspective. Um, and if you see here the revenue growth, I like this positive double digit, triple digit revenue growth. And I also like uh, the gross margin, which is again, high double digit type gross margin. So with that, you know, these are my favorites, Zoom, Twilio, Logitech, 5.9, Bandwidth, Live Person, Clear One, 8x8, Zendesk, Ring Central, Alphabet, Microsoft, J2 Global, On24. So with that, um, I want to conclude this uh, happy investing in work from home stocks. Uh, this trend is here to stay and um, very nice uh, luck in investing. Thank you. Bye.